yes. you know, you know, you know, there's somebody out there that's worse off than I am. <laughs> hey, we all know that. There's people out there worse off than we are. There's people out there in sin that's worse off than we are. Uh-huh. You know, but they don't even know Christ that we can go and talk to uh-huh. and maybe explain to them who God really is, and maybe that might speak to them, and they might turn and get right with a uh, good little bus. Amen. Amen. If we uplift yeah. him, he'll draw on to him. Amen. Amen, amen. Uh, just, uh, that's one thing that we can't do is thank God enough. You know, I mean, we got we got to thank Him every day. We got to praise Him every day for everything that's for us, because He does it all. It's all in His hands. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, we're putting a challenge out to everyone tonight, listening or calling in. Brother, when you get done, we challenge you to get one of your family members or friends, get somebody else to call in. Encourage them to pick up the phone and share their testimony. Amen, brother. Amen. I wish my brother would call in there. He, he's got a testimony and a half, you know. I mean, he, he called me a while ago, and me and him talked almost an hour. He was, it's my brother that lost his wife here just last week and uh-huh. i tell you god god god's working with him and i praise the lord for that you know he talked to me and he said you know he said i see now that the lord does it all he said it ain't me i said praise the lord amen well brother pick up your phone and call them and encourage them to and give them the number and say call it in it's time uh, we begin to we begin to cry loud brother oh yes brother amen. that's what we gotta do yeah, amen well how I hate if we don't cry out loud, uh-huh. then how are they going to know? Yeah, I hear that. Hey, how's Brother uh, Jesse doing tonight? Well, he's sitting in there listening in, and I tell you, he's still hurting a little bit in his stomach, but he's been doing pretty good today. He's uh, he, We did a uh, Bible study today, and oh, blood, Brother Jesse's the one who led Bible study praise today. Praise God, praise God, praise God. And I tell you, he was over there in Revelation 17. You know, and I, I tell you, it, it was a blessed night. I, I enjoyed it, and I know everybody there enjoyed it. Amen, amen. I, I mean, wish I could have been there. Praise God. Hey, I can't wait. Singing, I tell you, had singing. We had good food. Eh? <laughs> we were getting fed by the Word. Amen. Come on. Well, what's better than that? I have fellowship and having family, friends, and stuff that you can spend it with. Uh-huh. The fellowship, and, and I tell you, getting fed with the Word. You know, and that, that's what it's all about, is getting fed by the Word. That, that's the thing. You can't get enough of it. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Brother Phillips uh, wants me to play uh, his favorite song, They Whipped Him Up the Hill. We'll get amen. to that just in a moment, Brother Phillip. We love you, Brother Phillip, and Petey and your whole family. That, that song right there, brother, I, it blesses me and Jesse so much to hear that song. Oh, it, they, it does me, you too. You know, they whipped him up the hill for us. Yeah, they did. Come on. <laughs> yeah, they whipped him up the hill for us. They hung him up on that old rugged cross for our sins, you know. He died and paid for them all on that cross, you know. So that way we wouldn't have to go through what he went through. But, you know, the thing about it is, is people look and say us that we don't go through pain like Jesus did. No, we don't even go a smidgen while he went through. Boy, oh, them stripes that he bared and everything. You know, that's what I tell everybody. Look what God has done for you. Look what Jesus Christ done for you. He bled and died for you. He's the one who took the stripes on his back for you. Why? What's wrong with you all? Y'all out here complaining. Why complain? So Jesus Christ didn't complain when they hung up on the cross. <laughs> He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Don't try it, brother. My God, my God. Woo! We sure need to do a lot of praying, don't we? That's right, brother. That's right. <laughs> I tell you, I, I just can't express it enough that everybody needs to love one another and come together as one accord. You know, I mean, that's what we need to do is come together. If we have to get on the street corners and preach, then get on the street corners and preach. Amen. I do it quite often. <laughs> uh, His word well, don't man, return void. It's going to accomplish what he sends it forth to do, brother. Amen. Amen. Brother. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, 
Well, I tell you, brother, that's about all I've got tonight. All right. Never know what God's going to wind me back to. Amen. Well, brother, you know you're always welcome to call the Gospel Music Jukebox and obey the Lord. Yeah, I wanted to tell everybody, too, that I love them and everything. God bless. And, you know, it, I, I get a blessing out of every song and every testimony. I it just blesses the socks right off my feet. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, brother, I love you. And give Jesse a big hug for me. Tell him I can't uh, wait to get down there and see everybody. And uh, hopefully we'll sneak in over at Pastor Jordan's. While I'm there, and get a get a worship with everybody in spirit and truth. Amen. Amen. All, all, Amen. all right, brother. I love you, man. Love you too, brother. Bye bye. Bye. Ooh, praise God. Well, glory. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, brother Monroe and brother Jesse. I feel I feel uh, left out. They got to go over to Pastor Jordan and Sister Rachel's and and have church. And I'm I've been just itching to get up in that part of the country. And the Lord's willing, this weekend coming up, I'm I'm a heading that way. Amen. <laughs> so y'all pray for me. Uh, uh, it's always good. <laughs> Praise God. All right, we're gonna try to get over here and see if we can find the song. Um, they whipped him up the hill. Okay, yeah, all right. Here we go. Be blessed in Jesus' name, my friends. Be blessed. They whipped him up the hill just for me. They whipped him up the hill just for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. They whipped him up the hill just for me. They nailed him to a cross just for me. They nailed him to a cross just for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. They whipped him up the hill just for me. They laid him in a tomb just for me. They laid him in a tomb just for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. They whipped him up the hill just for me. The angel rolled the stone away just for me. The angel rolled the stone away just for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. They whipped him up the hill just for me. He's coming back from heaven just for me. He's coming 
back from heaven just for me one day when I was lost Jesus died upon the cross they whipped him up the hill just for me Amen and amen. All right, guys, pick up the telephone. We need to hear some testimonies. Come on. I mean, be an overcomer tonight. Let the world know that you're not ashamed to stand and proclaim his holy and righteous name. Hey, man, we need to hear what God, somebody needs to hear what God has done for you today, my friend. Let the world know that God's not dead. He's alive, and he lives forevermore. My God, my God, pick up the phone and dial 1-931-484-4531 live right now, right here into the studio, right here, and just shout giving God all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Amen. Hey, I want to give a big shout out. Brother uh, Armand uh, said he had to get off the line, I believe, a little earlier. I can't back my chat up, but uh, amen. We love him, and we continue to pray for his family that they would have a desire to go to the house of the Lord with uh, with uh, him and uh, stand as one, united. Amen. All right, let me get over here and check the phone line. He's uh, hello, you've got the gospel music jukebox. Who do we have on that end? Brother Eddie, this is Sister Vicki Garrett from Soul Filling Station Rock Church. Ooh, praise God, sis. <laughs> I was calling you to let everybody know that what kind of God we do serve. Come on. You know, uh, my testimony just, <laughs> I, I got to get it out there because the way he got my attention, I was sitting on the bar stool one night and uh, God knows, God knows that I was his. And he, uh, I got knocked off that bar stool by the grace of God. And, you know, I jumped in there. I, I'm trying to serve God. But Satan tried to throw cancer on this body of mine. And, and I told God, I said, God, I, I, I'm not accepting it. I'm not accepting it. And uh, he healed my liver totally. Went back to the doctor and he told me, he said, you've got a new liver. And, you know, if God can heal cancer, he can heal anything. Amen. And I was on drugs really, really bad. Anybody out there that's on drugs real bad, let me tell you, you don't have to have a rehab center. God is your rehab center. Yes. He can deliver you from any kind of drug, alcohol that you're on. Thank and you, I'm going to tell you, it, just trust in God. Yes. If we trust him, honor, and obey, he will. He will deliver you. But you have to trust him. You have to honor and you have to obey him. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When he speaks, when he speaks to you, move. Don't just sit there on the couch and do nothing. Get up and move. Because there's work out there for us to do. Yes, Lord. Yeah, you know, and I'm just, I'm, we came from, just like Brother Ed told you, that service today, it was great. I mean, it was great. And the one tonight was great. Yes. And I'm telling you, I'm filled, my cup is running Ooh, over. Praise God. I'm drinking from my sauce. Yes, Lord. And I'm telling you, God is real. Yes, there's he is. people out there that don't even believe in God. Come on. And I'm telling you, they're, they're going to, mm -mm, I hate to be them on judgment day. Yeah. Because God is real. Yes, he is. And we had one that I told them here a while back. I said, where does your air come from that you breathe? Who gives you life every morning? 